everybody welcome to my usual me and welcome back to scrap mechanic survival okay guys we are I, i've got another idea that for getting more material and i'm it's going to take a little bit of a tweak from yesterday's build not that much i'm super excited about it and i think you're going to be excited about it too you should check this out because i've been testing it you know it's really cool so here we are it is two o'clock in the morning my friend the cow over here has um is, is chilling with his nose in the beef i don't know what's going on i gave me some milk which is great i don't have to fence these cows and they hang around the place so i'm not gonna worry about fencing them in even though some people are fencing in their cows i'm not gonna worry about it i am gonna however get rid of this bot right now because he can cause me problems get out of here Thank you for the circuit board. I appreciate it. Okay, guys. So we have the drill car from uh, the drill uh, cart from yesterday, guys. And I, I'm getting metal and I'm getting stone and I'm super excited about it. But I was thinking about wood. Why don't we go ahead? If you look over here, guys, I have a couple of things that I built. I built the I built the refinery bot and I built the resource collector. Okay, the resource collector, guys, is going to be thirty blocks, thirty metal blocks, and wait is it 30 yes yeah, 30 and then the uh refinery bot is going to be uh, 60 metal blocks five um circuit boards and five component um kits so i went ahead and i built the refined bot it works really good resource collector works excellent i'll show you how to use those in just a minute actually i made two resource collectors because i've got this one um is partially full of wood but uh where is the other one here it is this one right here we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna pick this up we're gonna put this on the back of our cart and then i'm gonna modify my cart Oh, you know what? Let's do this. I just realized what I have to do. Hang on. Wait a minute. Hang on. We're going to slap another engine on this because I'm going to do something different. We're going to do this. Boom. I have another engine, which I get from here. And that engine is uh, 30 scrap uh, metal and 20 wood blocks and three circuit boards. So I have another engine right here. We're going to slap this engine on right behind this one. And there's a reason for that. Because I don't know what I'm going to do is going to be able to be powered by one engine. So we're going to do two. And I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Boop. And we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and pick this up. This bearing. I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of that. It's almost getting light outside. I'm, going to, I'm late. I'm late. Okay, so what I want to do, guys, is I have saw blades right here. Let me show you what it takes to make a saw blade. Really quick. You have to go over to your craft bot. And I didn't explain something in the previous video uh, with the with the with the drill bit guys on making the drill bit i'll show you how i'll show you what you got to get got to use to make the drill bit and then we'll I'll show you what you need to make the uh the saw blade too the drill bit guys i showed you where to find it but i didn't talk about oh, wait no was it the drill bit oh no it wasn't the drill bit what was it that i was oh wait no oh it was these blocks these blocks right here these metal blocks that I was talking about that you make, uh, you're going to need cinders, guys, cinders. I don't know if I explained that in the last video. So the burning trees, knock them down. You're going to get cinders from those. And then these water containers here, you're going to actually go and you're going to just fill a, wa a bucket full of water. Fill one of these buckets that you found full of water. And that's going to count as your water and it'll make one of these little plastic things for you. And you'll get your bucket back. So don't worry about it. So anyway, that's what you need for those, for these, these, these better metal blocks. So just so you know, that's what you need. To make your saw blades, we're going to need these better metal blocks that I just talked about. And then your common metal that you're going to get from harvesting your, your, um, your stone blocks out there, the stone, the stone monoliths that I, was, that I was tearing down yesterday. Now, with those blocks, you can actually make those blocks from these blocks which you can make from scrap metal, which you get from your, from your hay bots. So you can make these blocks without, oh, okay. Oh, you're making these blocks with cinders and water as well. But, um, so you're making these blocks with the same, but this one takes more than that one. And you're making that from scrap, but you're getting this metal from those, those metal, uh, those metal nodes out of the stone nodes out there. So you don't even have to worry about uh, getting scrap unless you want to. There are some things that do take scrap, so be aware, you are going to have to kill some of those uh, hay bots to get those. But anyway, so that's what it takes to make your saw blades. And uh, it was kind of long-winded, but, you know, you get the gist. We're going to go over here, and I'm going to, I'm going to put uh, my saw blade, my, 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 my lumberjack, my lumberjack cart together. Lumberjack cart. If the cows aren't going to get in my way, we'd be all right. I got three cows over there. This one's still over here. Sniffing the beef, dude. That was my boyfriend. That was my husband. 
Sorry, you're mourning your child, your your husband. All right. So what I did was I have some of these blocks right here. The no, not the stone ones. These metal blocks right here. I'm gonna grab those, and I'm actually gonna put one. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's grab this and let's let's put this up right here, and let's lift that so I can get underneath it. I want to get underneath this. Um, let's go ahead and put this block. I want it kind of low. Like that. Yeah, like that. And then I'm going to slap another one. Let's go ahead and lower this. And then I want another one kind of high. I think I'm going to have to put it right there. Oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, that might work. It might work. Now let's go ahead and put a let's put a bearing on top here. And let's put a bearing uh on top here, I think. I might want to put it down below. You know what I might do? Hang on. Change my mind. Let's go ahead and do this right quick. I'm gonna just slap this right here. I'm not gonna go that low with it. But what I am gonna do is we are going to let me raise this up. I'll put the bearing underneath so that the saw blade sits underneath so it's not yeah you see what i did there all right so let's go ahead and let's um let's put it grab a saw blade here grab a saw blade here and there's a reason why i want two of them i one would probably do the trick to be honest okay one can go there and let's lower that and then another one i gotta get on top so i can center it it's gonna go right there boom now, one's going to be for cutting down the tree, and the other is going to be for shaving the blocks. Now, I could probably just use one. To be honest, I might only need one. We might only need one. But you know what? If a bot comes up, it might actually be um, more useful to have this this way. We're going to use two for now. You might only need one. Let's go ahead and you know, let's attach uh, this guy to that, that bearing, and this guy... The, the backwards one to that bearing right there. So now the, the, this back engine, and we're going to also hook up this seat to the engine as well. So the seat runs both of these, but this engine runs the blades. But this engine only is the only thing running this uh, this tire right here. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do that. All right. That sits kind of high, though. I may have to lower that blade to get it to do what I want. Actually, I think, okay, I am going to lower the blade. Sorry about that, guys. I have to lower the blade because it's too high. I've done this before, and I know that this is too high. I couldn't remember how I did it before. Bear with me. We're gonna, we're gonna, we are going to lower that. That sits too high because I want to be able to run over the blade. I mean, run over the blocks of, uh, of metal. I mean, of wood. So we're going to go, yeah, so here we go. Do like this. So I do want to do that. We do want this underneath. And then this guy, and then that guy. I want it like that. I want it lower, I do. Go ahead and lower this down. And then do like that. That sits right, I think that's right. All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, pick that up. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put some gasoline in this. Actually, what I have to do here, we have to hook this back up. This engine to that one. Now we're good. Now we're ready. Now we're okay. All right, I need gasoline in this one. All right, and I'm going to turn this blade, these blades up really, really high once I get where I'm going. Actually, I'm just going to do like that. We're going to put these blades really high. This one doesn't have to be so high, so we're going to leave it kind of low. But these blades need to spin. I mean, they don't need to spin really fast, but I'm going to make them spin really fast. Now, let's go to get, just go to some trees right quick. Hopefully, there's no robots around, but it won't really matter. I'll right-click and drop this um, down if I need to. All right, so we're going to go ahead. I'm gonna, we're going to start with these trees right here. I'm going to hit Q to get it where I want it. Uh, there we go. That's, that's about right. Set it down. And then like that. All right. And then, all right, so we're good. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Let's get this working. Yeah, baby. And this one cuts it. 
cuts it down. And then what I'm going to do to save on gas is I'm going to grab this and we're going to set it right here. Boom. And I'm going to run over this with this other lower blade. And what that'll do is that'll cut through and, and, and refine those guys on the log so that we can shave it really, really quickly. And now that should be good, I think. Boom. There it is. All nice and clean and ready to go. Now, what I didn't do is I was going to put this up. See, there's another one here. I did the same way. And there's another one here that I did the same way. It's really super fast when you do it that way. And so what we're going to do now is then we're going to go ahead. I wanted to have this on the back of the of the container. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. So I'm going to actually pick this up. And we're going to actually head back over here. We're going to put this on the back of the machine that way when I bring the machine back to the office it's gonna uh, it's all gonna be in one piece so I won't have to worry about it I should have put this on the back in the first place but I got so excited that I didn't do that so like I said make sure there's no bots around because if they are they'll destroy your your machine and I should have enough room to put this on the back Let's go ahead and, yeah, right like that. I don't, hang on, let's, uh, let me zoom in right quick. That should be about right there, I think. Is that even? Not really even. That might be about as even as it gets, though. It's going to be, it's going to be a little bit off, but that's fine. So anyway, then to do what, you, what I got to do here is we just, uh, we just right mouse. Or we get, wait, no, I don't want to refine it. No, 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 no. Let's do it like that, so I'm not holding on to that. Pick it up, and from a distance, you can just throw it in, guys. You don't even have to be close to that to chuck it in. Just right, right mouse button, and it goes in. Dude, it's really fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this up, and then I'm going to show you how to use these machines because at first it was kind of confusing to me, but now it's super, super easy and quick. All right, so I've, if you hold this thing holds like twenty five uh, wood, I think. So and that ten is what you get out of a lot out of one tree. So I'm we're gonna go ahead and just go like this. We're just gonna pick this up. I can take the whole thing with me to the next tree and cue that. Boom, like that. There we go. Now. So I can get two and a half trees. Out of every load super quick I don't know what I'm gonna use wooden blocks for maybe for a boat so it'll float because I think the buoyancy, buoyancy might be better than metal obviously so we're gonna see what we're gonna make out of it I think I can make cardboard out of this and now I just need five more to fill the sucker up all right so now, now that I've got this loaded up, guys, I'm going to go ahead and, we're, like I said, this is what we do. We're going to lift this up. We're just going to take it right back to the office because I can run at full speed with this ghost image. I'll take it back to the garage, and we're just going to put it. I'm just going to place it right here like so and like that and then like this, and then I'm done. Okay, so once you have this like, like you want it, uh, once you have it full, and this is your, your resource bot. That's You're going to put this down wherever you want to put it down. You can just right mouse button it. It's all full of wood, but it, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this, like, say, right here. Boop, like that. And then we're going to go ahead and pick this guy up like this. And then I'm going to just place it right next with the, with the mouth. If the mouth is on the left, I'm going to place it to, just right next to it, kind of centered. Put it down, and it should go right to work. There it is. Sucks it in, grinds it up makes it into a block and that's all that's all it takes and it sucks it right in and you go into e and it's 10 blocks per guys i've already made 200 uh on my own uh with with this machine and i'm super super happy with it so you're going to get 250 blocks per and one well i would make two of these so that while one well, one is working you can go out and fill up the other one now there's going to be ones that you can do for stone and for metal i i've been told but for but for right now wood is all i know 
So until I can learn how to upgrade, this is what I'm going to be working with. I'm really excited about how this is working out. Don't know what I'm going to make with these blocks, but it's still pretty darn cool. Okay, guys, that is my lumberjack car and uh, and the processing plant. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you, you found it informational. Hope it helped you out. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.